Okay, what is up everybody? Happy New Year! This is my first Daily Dose of Awesome of the year. I know we had Chef Katrina filling in. Thank you so much, Chef, uh, for, for delivering such value. Hey guys, this is Daily Dose of Awesome, your life, 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Kicking off 2017, uh, I'm super pumped. Let me see if I'm live here uh, on, on Facebook. Okay, I guess I'm still loading. There I am. What is up? People are rolling in. And you guys heard me on Facebook Live, so I know I'm live. I know I'm good. What is up, everybody? Now, today's topic uh, on your first Daily Dose of Awesome with me of the year is on the most underutilized yet most important tool in network marketing. And uh, what this essentially amounts to is how to know if you're winning or wasting your time. So this is more, this is more, not only the most important tool, I say this is the most important skill that you need in any business, especially a business like network marketing. And hint, uh, this uh, important skill set, the most important skill set is not pro sponsoring or recruiting. It has nothing to do with sponsoring or recruiting. It actually is a higher level skill set that is very easy to learn. And uh, it's, it's, it's so simple that anyone can utilize it, yet very few people in network marketing are doing it. What's up, Charles? Uh, and, and it should be taught. I don't know why this is not taught more in network marketing, but that's the, that's the, unfortunately, that's the case. And so I'm going to hop right into that uh, immediately after my intro. Now, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Fernie Savaz. I'm a lead generation online marketing expert specializing in helping home business owners. That's network marketers, affiliate marketers, direct sellers multiply their incomes using the internet. Now, I built my first six-figure network marketing business within a couple of years of discovering the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro, especially what you're gonna learn here today. And over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $11 million in gross income into my home businesses and have helped our clients produce hundreds of millions of dollars in income in their businesses as well. So what we teach here works. In fact, the reason it works is because of the topic I'll be covering today. Now, if you're new to our training, I highly recommend you subscribe to these daily lives in the top right corner. You can click on the video in the top right corner and something will appear. Click it again. That'll open up a menu where you can turn, uh, like our fan page, first of all, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified every time we go live uh, so that you get a little ping on your phone and you can join us uh, live or you can watch the recording later. The important thing is you don't miss out on this training. And as you will see, uh, there's a reason why you want to get these notifications. Now, if you're watching this on desktop, uh, right above the, the description of this video, there's a, our, our logo, Elite Marketing Pro. Click on that and that'll take you to our, uh, you know, our fan page where you can also click like and then on the, there's a nut button, there's a pull down menu where you can also turn on notifications to make sure that you don't miss out on anything. So what is up everybody? Hey, Emma, Cynthia, Kelly, Vicenzo, what's up buddy? All, watching all the way from Italy. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much for being on. Now guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different uh, this year. If you're a member of Elite Marketing Pro, you have your referral link uh, for Social Media Recruiter and or AMF. And so what I recommend you guys do, so I'm gonna be doing these lives and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put any links in the description. Uh, what you guys want to do is want to share this uh, using your own, your own links, your own referral links, so you can get the credit for referring people if you're a member of EMP. And, uh, and, and so go ahead and do that right now. So this is a naked, naked post right now. After the recording is done, after I've gone live, I will be adding a, a link for some more resources for people. But I want to give you guys the opportunity to do that first. So do that right now. Uh, share this post on your social media, uh, social profiles, your fan pages, your private Facebook groups. Share this, add your own referral link uh, as we've already taught you as a member of Elite Marketing Pro and, uh, and, and make that happen now. So uh, go, go on with the sharing. Now, uh, let's get right into the content because this is so important and, and it's something that's, that's taught, very, uh, taught quite a bit in, uh, in internet marketing and online, you know, online systems, but it is rarely taught in network marketing, yet uh, those that teach this skill are, are going to be in a position to, to grow organizations really quickly. Their people are less likely to get frustrated and, and ultimately less likely to quit. Now, so here's the problem. When I got started in network marketing, um, I wasn't taught many skill sets. I wasn't, you know, really, I wasn't even taught recruiting. I expected to kind of just go off and find more people and bring more people. So I wasn't taught skills. I was never taught a process for doing 
this business, any business has processes and systems. And so you need to learn a, a way of doing things. You know, this is step one to step two, step three. This is how, you know, uh, when this happens, this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens. Those are processes that any business has. And especially in online marketing, we have, you know, we have our ads and then, and then when, when, or our Facebook post, if you're posting for free on your fan page. And then after that, someone clicks on that ad and then they arrive on your, on your page, on your website. And on their website, uh, they're, you know, the goal is to get them to become a lead. So they, they become a prospect for your business. And then at that point, uh, there's maybe another process where there's follow-up emails. Uh, there's some phone calls that happen. Uh, you make them an offer, whatever that happened, whatever that looks like after they become a, a prospect. The point is you have a plan for what's going to take place. In network marketing, we're not taught any of that. You know, we're taught, you know, recruit, you know, bring people in, show them the plan. And uh, and somehow magically they're going to get excited and join and then uh, and tell them to do the same. So uh, that's a, a really bullshit process because it's not actually skill based. Uh, you know, and you, cause you're not taught what happens in between. Like, how do you show them the plan? You know, how do you show the, a, pres a business presentation? What tools do you utilize? utilize? Um, you know, how do you, when you strike up conversation, what do you say? How does that conversation go? Uh, what are the, what are the kind of like stages of that conversation? Uh, how do you, pro how do you invite effectively? So there's so many things that, in, in, that are part of the process yet in, in most network marketing companies, it's done at a really simplistic level. Because quite honestly, they don't they don't trust your intelligence. They don't think you're going to get it, and they want you to just get more people, as many people as possible, so that your more skilled upline can uh, can kind of build under you, so that you don't quit. Uh, yeah, and really, that's the wrong wrong process. I I I prefer to respect people's intelligence. I prefer to give them the benefit of the doubt and be willing to tell them, hey, this is how it goes. This is the process. Uh, and most importantly, number three is. There's no tracking that's ever taught in network marketing. And so that's what the to this topic uh, uh, of this daily dose is. It's on metrics and tracking. Uh, because even if you have a process in place, how do you know if you're making progress? How do you know if you're effective? How do you know if you're improving? And so n tracking and metrics is not taught in network marketing uh, for the most part. There are a few trainers, very minority of trainers that I've seen. I've seen Cesar Rodriguez teach this. So to Cesar's credit, He's an, he, he actually learned this outside of network marketing and brought this into network marketing. I've seen Cesar Rodriguez teach uh, tracking and metrics. He has an activity tracker that he uses. And I've seen Tim Sales teach a version of this that's not really tracking conversion rates as much as it is like kind of creating a game out of uh, developing certain skill sets. Now, when I went online after, you know, when I was taught no skills, no process, no tracking, um, this frustrated me, especially at being an engineer. I needed to kind of know get some feedback as to whether I was making any progress or not. And so, so uh, going online taught me about metrics because I was first, I was taught skill sets. I was taught the skill set of, first of all, advertising. And then eventually I was taught copywriting on how to effectively write uh, the, uh, the proper message at each stage so that uh, people are, you know, are more likely to take me up on whatever I'm offering in that next stage of the process. I was taught process for, for the purposes of conversions. I needed to know my conversion. So, uh, you know, when to, when to, when somebody becomes a prospect, uh, you know, that, that, so someone sees an ad, they, uh, they, they, they take action on the ad by going to your website. They become a leader or a prospect for your business. They join. Uh, and so th that was, you know, there was a process that a series of steps that happened. And also once they become a, a prospect, um, you know, I had to, you know, get on the phone with them and like convert them. I had to like, there's a process for that too. There's like, you know, literally people have scripts sometimes. And in those, in the process of those scripts, those scripts are, are designed to kind of take people through a series of stages in that conversation. That is a process. And so, so I learned about, about, you know, developing these processes and most of it is, you know, was just taught to me. I didn't really have to develop much until much later. Uh, I just took the processes that were already uh, being utilized by my mentors. And, and most importantly, what made most sense to me is that everything was tracked. So I knew my conversion rates at every step. And I knew well, whether I was wasting money on a certain piece of advertising or whether I was, was wasting my time on a certain post or not. I knew that because the numbers told me. So for the first time ever, somebody was, was talking to me like an adult and explaining how, how to scientifically approach 
network marketing and marketing in general. And so, so I was taught, you know, the, the metrics that were needed in order to know whether I was doing well, good or not. So what, what are some of these metrics that you need to know in order to in order to kind of figure out whether you're doing well or not? First of all, there's views. So if somebody views an ad, that's number of views, number of clicks. Uh, and clicks obviously is gonna, when someone clicks on an ad, they visit your website. So, so those are clicks slash visitors to your website. Uh, there's also, so knowing your views and knowing how many clicks, you can calculate your click-through rate. So that's the percentage of people that saw your ad that clicked on it. So that's your click-through rate, CTR. Uh, cost per lead, and if you wanna you know, slow, pause this video and slow it down after it's recorded, go ahead. Uh, you need to be able to calculate your cost per lead. If you spent money on all these views and an advertising, how many, you know, you know, when, when somebody becomes a lead after they visit your website, how much money did you have to spend to generate that lead? In order to know that, you need to know your website conversions. So from your website to someone becoming a lead or a prospect for your business, uh, what percentage of people that visit your website actually request information about your business? And if this is a concept that's foreign to you, if your website was designed to be a brochure and, and have no process for, for capturing people's information, you're doing this business wrong, at least uh, as far as online is concerned. So I need to know what my conversion rates, uh, out of all the people that visited my website, all the clicks or visitors, uh, how many people became a lead, and there I was able to calculate my, my website conversion rate, my percentage. Uh, also, my percentages from prospect to sale or prospect to, to somebody joining my business. So I needed to track all that. And, uh, you know, using all these metrics, as we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro in more detail, I have, I have an entire webinar on metrics uh, that's recorded in our back office. I'm able to calculate my cost per acquisition or my cost per join or my cost per customer. And what that means is how much money did it, did it, uh, did I require it? How much money did I have to pay in order, on average, do I have to, to generate a customer? On average. So this is over time. So once I, if I've spent $100 and I generated uh, five customers, then each of those customers cost me $20 to generate on average because, you know, some more, some less. But, and so that will tell me how much money I can continue to afford to spend. And guess what? If I'm not making more on those customers, if I'm not making more than $20 on those customers, then uh, I'm, you know, I'm spending too much and I can choose to turn off the advertising because I'm losing money. But if I'm making $50 or more per customer, and this can be immediate or this can be over the long term, if I'm making, say, $100 per customer, it's only costing me $20 to generate that customer, then I'm profiting uh, for every customer I generate. I spend $20 and I make $100. That is a magic slot machine, my friends. So that's what we were. Uh, that's what I was taught. But let's take it back to what you're currently doing right now, because I want to make sure that you understand if you're currently doing network marketing in a traditional sense, how do you kind of put it put it in context of what you're doing right now? If you haven't learned the internet stuff yet, no problem. So how many connections and conversations have you had? You want to know how many conversations or connections you've had uh, where you your intention was to to uh, segue people into your business. How many of those conversations per day? You want to write that number down. You want to keep an Excel spreadsheet. How many invitations did you make? You know, when you did, you, did you in that conversation, did you invite or maybe you, you set off, you had a conversation and, and chose to follow up later. And so you just collected their information. So at some point you followed up through messenger, through text, through phone call, and you actually invited that person. How many did you, did you make per day? You want to write that down and you want to track your numbers weekly, monthly. And uh, how, out of the, all those invitations, how many people did you show the business or product to? So if you were, had a product approach and how many people did you show the product to? And if you had a business approach, how many people did you show you know, the, the, the business to? Now, how you show them the business, that's you know, depending on what you're taught in your company. And some, sometimes what's taught in companies is, 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 is moronic and sometimes it's very good. So you'll have to figure out if, if uh, the, the stuff you're being taught on how to present is, uh, is, is process oriented and it's, if it's something that can be tracked. So if it's something that can be tracked, you probably can, can, can work with it. Um, and then out of all those people that you showed the business or the product to, how many did you sponsor or, or generate as a customer? Now, if you're taking a product approach, um, well, first of all, you wanna track your conversion rates. So 100 connections, let's say half of those people you invited. So that's 50% conversion from connections to invitations. Out of all those invitations, Let's say 60% actually you know, showed up and you got an opportunity to show the business to. So those are your conversion rates. And so out of the 60%, uh, 
uh, the people you uh, out of sixty percent of the people that you showed the business to, let's say uh, you know thirty percent, you know you managed to generate as a customer or, or or sponsor. So knowing those numbers, now you're able to work backwards percentages. Know how many people, how many conversations you actually have to have in order to reach your weekly, monthly, annual goals in your business. Now, customers should be a big part of this. So if your focus is on, on producing customers, then let's say out of every 10 customers you have, how many of those 10 customers will actually want to take a look at the business and actually you know work on the business? So that's a whole other conversion process that you have to track. So bottom line here is if you're able to break down uh, this by, by numbers and conversion rates, and kind of take your emotions out of it. I know it seems weird to kind of treat people like numbers. Trust me, that's not what you're doing. You're trying to create a system to create the, the best probability for success in your business. So by having these conversion rates up, by actually logging uh, what your conversion rates are on an Excel spreadsheet, you're gonna now have be empowered to know how to hit your goals and you're gonna be able to empower other people. You're gonna be able to teach this process to other people. The most important skill set, in my opinion, in network marketing or any skill, any uh, business is the ability to track and measure your results, good, bad, or ugly. If you're spending money on advertising to generate prospects, you know how much you can afford to spend if you're tracking these, these results because you'll know how much money you make on average per customer uh, over the long term, over the short term. You'll know how much you'll make uh, per distributor, too. Uh, you can calculate that. So I hope this is, uh, you know, this is making sense. This is going to empower you to hit your goals. And if you don't hit your goals in network marketing, then you're not making progress. And if you don't know, uh, you know, if, if you're not taught this and you're not using this, then you really don't know whether you're going to be making progress or not. And you're treating this like a lottery ticket. You're treating it like a game of chance. You're hoping that that next person has the magical pixie dust uh, in them that's going to you know, help them blow up and they're going to build your business for you. That's not how this works. If you want to guarantee your success, you got to track your results. So that is, is my lesson for today. Guys, if you're part of the Elite Marketing Pro and you're watching this, I didn't put any link in the description. Uh, this, Please share this uh, with everyone on social media and on, on your Facebook profiles using your own referral link. Uh, after I'm done recording, I will be adding our link so you won't be able to share it without, uh, without including our link as well afterwards. So this is incentive for you guys to join us live and, and immediately be able to share this far and wide so that people get this message. And so that's a, our, a new thing that we're doing as part of our community. If you're not part of our community and would like to know more about what we offer in training, the, when you're watching this video, there's likely going to be a, a link in the description or you can go to EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash go to learn more about what we do, how we, how we uh, teach people how to go online from their network marketing business. And it starts with simply something as simple as uh, learning a process for social media recruiting. And then eventually we, we evolve you into learning a process for building uh, the, the types of systems I described where uh, things are kind of just working on autopilot where prospects are just coming in and the people that you're going to speak, speak to on a daily basis to build your business are the people that are most excited to speak to you about your product opportunity or whatever, whatever it is uh, you're offering. So that's it for today, guys. Happy New Year. Thank you, Kayla. Uh, Wendy, thanks so much for, be, for being on Wendy's, uh, Wendy 4. So thanks a lot, guys. That's a wrap and we'll talk tomorrow. Take care.